Hello everyone. In this video, we'll look at argument or amplitude of a complex number. When I say argument or amplitude, it simply means some angle. Now in complex number also, we have something to do with angle. So let's see which angle or what type of angle is known as argument or amplitude. For this, let me consider a complex number z. Okay. Let z is equal to a plus bi. This complex number a plus bi can be represented in the argand plane, argand diagram or a complex plane. So this point will lie somewhere here, a, b. Now let me name this point as p. And if I denote origin by o, the angle formed by this vector op, okay, vector op in the with the positive direction of x axis. This x axis is known as the reference point or the starting point to form that angle from that point, that uh, starting point to that point. Okay, so we are saying argument is the angle made by this vector op with the positive direction of x-axis. What I'm saying is uh, this angle, say let me name as theta, is known as argument. Let me we represent argument, we denote argument by ARG or AM, amplitude of C. Now, this is one of the arguments, sorry, this is yes, this is one of the arguments. We will have two arguments for a single complex number in the sense that uh, this argument is say it is a positive angle isn't it it is formed by from the anti-clockwise direction right it is formed angle is formed in the anti-clockwise direction right this we have taken in the anti-clockwise clockwise direction so we have the positive angle right now Again, similarly, if we go to the clockwise direction, so clockwise direction from against the starting point from here to that vector OP, again we have, we have, we, it is still formed the angle, isn't it? This also is known as the amplitude. This also is known as the amplitude. And this amplitude is formed when we are went in the clockwise direction. So in this manner, we have so this now this angle that we get will be negative angle negative angle so this both are the amplitudes or arguments of the complex number from here what did you understand so to put in a simple words in simple words this argument of z or amplitude of z is an angle an angle made by op vector with the positive direction of positive direction of positive direction of x Axis. So this is the simple definition of argument. Now, how to find this uh, argument? When we, when I say how to find this argument, argument or amplitude can be found, like, can be found looking at the complex number. Looking at the complex number, and that means in which quadrant, in this complex plane, in which quadrant the complex number lies. Accordingly. The argument the value of argument will be found okay now let's look at them one by one so in the first quadrant i am putting first quadrant what which type of complex number lies in the first quadrant if z is equal to a plus bi as before this lies in the first quadrant so here let us represent this in the complex plane so it lies here and we have to find 
some alpha so here let me previously i have mentioned as theta so now i am representing as alpha because it depends okay so this alpha we have to take angle between 0 and pi by 2 many acute angle okay, this alpha should lie between 0 and pi by 2 fine so in the first quadrant whenever we calculate be it in the first quadrant or second quadrant or third or fourth quadrant this alpha is equal to the tan inverse of modulus of b divided by a this b and a are this values the real and the imaginary part of the complex number so this is our alpha now what is our argument argument of z z in the first quadrant argument of z it let me say it is equal to theta no? so this is equal to the alpha itself okay, this is equal to alpha fine now i told you that uh, there will be two arguments for a complex number which is the second one if we go in the negative direction or sorry in the clockwise direction so this is another argument how to find that argument so that argument let let me name let me name this the first argument as theta 1 now okay i'm saying this is theta 1 fine so theta 1 is equal to alpha then theta 2 the second argument still the argument that's why here i'm saying arg of z will be equal to theta 1 minus 2 pi just remember this theta 1 minus 2 pi and uh, this can be this can be logically seen from the diagram itself isn't it so let's quickly move to how it looks in the second quadrant or how to find the argument in the second quadrant so second in the second quadrant uh, the complex number will be of the type so second means the value of real part should be negative so negative a plus bi this type of real number line will fall in the second quadrant how how let's see so negative a means somewhere here then b right so this is our factor here so here if i calculate this alpha again this alpha is equal to tan inverse of modulus of b divided by a and now this alpha is not the, not the argument because as per the definition of the argument or amplitude it is the angle made by this vector in the positive direction of x-axis isn't it but here it is not the angle in the positive direction of x-axis the angle that we are talking about is this angle this is our argument when we go to the anti-clockwise direction this is our argument theta 1 as we have now met the first argument is theta 1 and second is theta 2 so this is theta 1 how to calculate theta 1 so theta 1 is equal to so theta 1 so what is the whole angle here the total angle from here till here it is 180 isn't it or we say pi right so the remaining theta 1 will be pi minus alpha so our required argument of set is equal to pi minus alpha in second quadrant and second argument is simply again theta 1 minus 2 pi hope it is clear similarly let us look at the argument in the third quadrant so in the third quadrant which type of complex number falls in the third quadrant so if we have if we have both sorry so if we have both real and imaginary part negative no? so negative a negative bi such complex number will fall in the third quadrant so let's see so it is somewhere here right so again 
when we calculate alpha we calculate the alpha here okay alpha is an acute angle so this is our alpha so how to find the alpha formula remains the same so alpha is equal to tan inverse b divided by e now what is our argument the first argument is so our required argument as such is from here till here this is our theta one now this is the positive angle which we get when we move in in the anti-clockwise direction isn't it so theta one is equal to say argument of z is equal to so from this point till this one we have this 180 pi yeah? so this the alpha that we have got here so just add that one now for this is the argument in this third quadrant or another one if you want to find argument is equal to theta 2 is equal to arg of z which is equal to again theta 1 minus 2 pi now last i hope by this time it is clear the concept is clear if the concept itself is clear then we can easily calculate the argument or amplitude of a given complex number now let us quickly go to the fourth quadrant fourth in the fourth quadrant how the uh, argument or the amplitude looks like so fourth quadrant so the real part should be positive and the imaginary part should be negative right such complex number will when we represent in the argon plane it will fall in the fourth quadrant so that is somewhere here isn't it somewhere here again we have to calculate the acute angle that is alpha we have given the name alpha isn't it right so alpha is again is equal to tan inverse of modulus of b divided by a and interestingly here theta now we made a habit of going to the, to the counterclockwise direction isn't it that is when we find the positive angle this is our theta one right so theta one is equal to again i am saying that is the argument of the given complex number z which is equal to here it is 2 pi minus 2 pi minus alpha 2 pi minus alpha 360 from 360 if we subtract alpha we'll get our argument then theta 2 is again simply theta 1 minus 2 pi hope it's clear so that's how we find the argument or amplitude in different quadrant when looking at in which quadrant the complex number falls we have to find the amplitude or argument of that particular complex number so what did we say here comp argument or amplitude of a complex number is simply an angle and in particular which type of angle the angle which is made made by the op vector with the positive direction of x-axis meaning the positive direction of x-axis is our starting point to calculate the angle and how many like argument or amplitude are there for a complex number two right one is angle formed when we form from the positive x-axis when we move to the counterclockwise direction that angle will be positive angle and the angle formed when we move in the clockwise direction that will be the negative angle so these are the two arguments of a complex number and we have also seen how the argument or <coughs> excuse me or amplitude is calculated in different quadrants so in the in next video we'll look at some examples related to the topic thank you